because I can be quite outspoken, but I'm very respectful. Uh, but I won't be walked over. Well said, well said. That's it. Exactly. And I, that's why I used to say to my students, I used to say, professionalism is not how much you get paid. It's a state of mind. And, you know, I've expected, I suppose, them to, uh, to be like me. Now, maybe I'm wrong because I'm perceiving that everybody should be the same as I am when I'm on set. Because when I'm on set, and I'm, I'm no angel, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I'm the best, but when I'm on set, I respect the director, production team, um, those around me, and I tend to just stay quiet and focused in my character. Now, you, you go on, you do your scene, and then they say, okay, cut, while well, they move the cameras or whatever, now, rather than suddenly start chatting about, you know, what I had for tea or, you know, what I'm doing tomorrow, I'll just stay quiet and focused. You focus on your script yeah, and your role. Absolutely, and absolutely. Be a structure. But, you know, I, I've seen other actors who suddenly start talking about chatting and what they're having for tea. Yeah. And people who are never expected to do it have done it, you know. And then I've been in, before I became a professional, when I was in amateur shows on stage, you know, I've seen amateur actors side stage being so professional, not running around, joking, having a laugh, but being very focused, go on, do the thing, come off, very thing. And for me, professionalism is a state of mind. It's not, you might call yourself a professional, but it, it's not. It's a state of mind. That's well, what, well said, well said. That's it. Exactly. And I, that's why I used to say to my students, I used to say, Professionalism is not how much you get paid, it's a state of mind. Because in the past I've done student films where I haven't been paid, even though I'm a professional, but I still go on there. You know, I still go on there and be professional. And there might be some actors out, out there now saying, oh, you're promoting, you know, working for nothing. No, I'm not promoting that. What I've chosen to do in the past is creatives unite to support student filmmakers right to support them because yes they need actors and not all of them can afford to pay actors but they will do their best if they're trying to cover your expenses or your accommodation or your food but there is a catch in here i know you're not promoting free work no but as a producer as an actor as an entrepreneur <clears throat> As a self-made filmmaker, I support free work and I promote it. Why? If you do not do the free work, you would never understand the value of the paid work. You just get the money, you're spending on the dumb shit that you don't need, mm. but, but you won't go through the hard days, being hungry on set for hours and no toilets, no drinks, and all the bad behavior you're going to get within the non-professional side of it. And then once you transit to a professional world, well, you have your own breaks, everyone's professional, set restructure is very professional, mm. like everything's perfect, then you will value you will value the production and then the money just disappears. The money is not important. Like the people become important. The production becomes, yes. your work becomes your home place in your mind. Yes. So yes. It, that's, that's the reason I love free work. I love this. I've always said that in every podcast, like I love these games more than what it gives back to me. Mm -hmm. So I don't expect it anything. If they give me money, I'm happy with it. If yes. not, I don't set rates, say, oh, this is my price. And like, Okay, somebody offered me a job in Thailand to cost eight grand. So, okay, thank you so much. Four months of job, flights paid, holidays paid, mm -hmm. and, and I was happy. I went to another project, which was a friend of mine. I said, listen, I, can't, I, can't, I can only pay you for the petrol. I said, dude, forget about it. When is the date I'm going to be there? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. to me, it's, it's not about the money as well. Yeah. But at the same time, if you, it, all of my good networks came from free work. Yes. You know, it's not free. Finding the right people is the most valuable currency you can have. Yes. You can be a circle of five people who sells ice cream. You're going to be the sixth one. <laughs> you end up with the circle of six high value producer. You're going to be the seventh one. Yes. So, so finding that circle is, is, is the most valuable currency to me. And people, only the people who are, who haven't experienced this, mm -hmm. um, who are not really professional, they're, they're amateurs in terms of mind and in terms of yes. performing, yes. they would think, Oh, it's not paid. 
they want to get the advantage. Oh, it's exploitation. I don't want to be there. They're not forcing you. They're asking you. This is the situation. These are the people you're going to meet. Do you want to be there? You don't want That's fine. Yeah. Unless yeah. you get a contract that says we're going to pay you and then they don't pay you and that's a totally <laughs> different story. But yeah. I mean, the, you know, there's a big, there's a big debate going on about, about, you know, free work and that we shouldn't, as actors, we shouldn't do it. Um, and I, 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 you know, I can see both sides because, you know, I, I, as you say, I have done free work, although I've never classed it as free work because you pointed out you're getting knowledge from it, you're getting training from it. So in my quiet times when, when I haven't been working and, a, you know, a good script's come along, which might be a student film and, and, you know, there's no pay and I've read the script and thought, you know what, yeah, I want to be involved in this. They look like they're a good team. Um because also, you know, these, these are the future filmmakers, the future directors, the future things. So you're making, you're networking and connecting exactly. as well. Um, and as long as you don't go on the, you know, sort of thinking, well, I'm the professional, I'm the one with all the experience and, you know, you don't know anything. No, go on there. As I said, it's a state of mind, respect. You know, the director, it could be his first film. But still respect. Exactly. You know, still respect. And if if... If you've got things that ideas for for the character or anything, then would you mind, you know, if I suggest this from the you know from the character? And if he says no, he says no, or she says no, then they say no. But don't say, well, I think this character would do this because I've heard actors tell the director that as well. You know, you've got to give every person in the production company the the respect because it's a team. It is a team, it as you know, team. it's a team, you know, from from the boom operator to, you know, the DOP, whatever. It's a team. No one can do it without the other person. Just, I'll, I'll say memory. I was on a set as a runner and there was another runner on a set who, who actually introduced me to the project. It was a paid project, professional people in Manchester. And one of the runners went to the DP and said, your camera is not, is not level, it's tilted. He just walked out the door. The DP got upset. He just like, he's telling me what to do. And then they fired him. Like, like five, ten minutes, they told him you need to leave. And then he called me and he was upset. He said, listen, what would you done if you were him? It's not the person. It's the position you got to respect. It's, yes. it's nothing. Like, this is the kind of industry you can't be emotional with it. You can't really. If you want to go out a mileage, if you want to, like, do extra work, you got to find where to do it, when to do it. Yes. And... And this is the thing, he was even, um, he was in the production more than I was in the production. Mm-hmm. But I only know where to talk and when to talk and he didn't know, he terminated <laughs> himself. Very nice guy, very caring, um, very good personality, but that was an unfortunate thing that happened. And he was upset for a couple of days and when we talked, I said, listen, what would you done if you were him? Mm-hmm. If your runner jumps to you in front of 50 people and say, your camera is not level. What do you want to say? Oh, thank you so much for the tips. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You're lucky he didn't get into fighting. He just walked out. He didn't talk to you. He went to his manager or director or whatever was producer and said, listen, I, I'm not happy with this guy. He said, yeah. You're right. I said, there you go. I mean, I, I, I've, seen, uh, I've seen actors overstep their mark many a time. And then really, if the director hasn't been strong, then that continues every single day on every single shot and suddenly the you know the actors are sort of this actor or two actors are sort of then domineering the director and then it's as if they're becoming the director it's a difficult situation because then that that actor might turn to you and say i I am on this one and i'm thinking hang on you're not the director you're an actor alongside me you're not the director. But the director is not saying, hang on, I'm the director. So it's a very difficult situation. Um, one that you have to handle in your own sort of choice. <laughs> in that situation. <laughs> it is, yes. Yeah. Because I can be quite outspoken, but I'm very respectful. Uh, but I won't be walked over. So and that's the that's the art of balancing. Yes. That's the absolutely. art of balancing. And I, I, and I think that's something come with age and experience. I'm yeah. 29. I don't see myself still capable of that experience, fully understanding how to balance it. Sometimes I'm all over the place. Sometimes I'm very quiet. And, and it, sometimes it, it takes age 
I, f- I personally think, I might be wrong, but I think it's to do with hormones as well. Once you age, your hormones change, your logic changes, yes. your experience actually yeah. changes, yeah, yeah. And, and you kind of take yeah. things more logically than emotionally. Like when I was in my 20s, nobody could talk to me on set. Like, like I was thinking, I know more than anyone. No one's done no shit. Yeah. I'm the only one. I'm the diamond. I'm the star. And I and, and yeah. the more I grow up, I realize, no, it doesn't work that way. Yeah. So others know things, but just because they don't see, they don't say it doesn't mean they don't know it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You've hit the nail on the head. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm the same. You know, when, when I left drama school, it was so, you know, strong, strong will and it's stubborn. That's the stubborn. Word, stubborn. Yeah. yeah. Um, that <clears throat> nobody could tell me anything, you know. And with age, I've softened. I've softened. Then maybe I've become wiser. I don't know. Um, I'm definitely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take it as a compliment. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, for those people, you know, sort of tracking back, for those people who want to be successful and they, you know, make loads of money, then good luck to you. But uh, for for those who are passionate and it's their heartbeat, then, you know, we've talked about several things here. We've talked about doing student films, doing, um, you know, work for free. But don't, don't class it as being free. Take everything you can from it. Yes, that you have to draw limits because you know you you can't be working free every week because this is a business and you have to survive and you have to take care of yourself, yeah, your family, economically. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. That's it true. is a it is a business and you you can't survive on no money. You have to, um, you know, progress forward um, and make money. And if that means being a jobbing actor, then be a jobbing actor and, and be proud to be a jobbing actor. There's nothing wrong. Um, I was I will I will sort of expand on being a jobbing actor because I had this conversation with a couple of people. Uh, it was an actual interview about being a jobbing actor, and it made me stop and think before the interview how to explain it. 